you need to be consistent enough to stay under an anointing and not be distracted by detractors. 2 Kings chapter 2, and we're going to start from verse 1. And it came to pass, when the Lord was about to take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me unto Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Let's stop there. As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. You see, there are some people, when things get rough in a church, when things get difficult, if the bishop got to speak to you too hard, if the sister got to talk to you and tell you something that you don't like, all of a sudden now you hear them. And I think that is my season is up here. Um, I think my season has expired here. And you don't have no backbone. You ain't got nothing. As somebody has to tell you something that you don't want to hear, you're ready to leave. And we've got a lot of people that are just going around from church to church to church because of that demon that needs to be cast out of them. You know, the says of rolling stone gathers no moss. Now, moss is not anything that you want to gather. But because you're a rolling stone, you can't even gather the moss. Hello. I'm being myself tonight. Amen. You got to be consistent enough to stay under anointing. I don't care what happens in the church. I don't care what goes on because I know what the anointing has done for me. I know what the ministry has done for me. I know what the prophet has done for me. I know what the word has done for me. And I'm not going to leave and put myself in trouble because of some crazy issue. We got to stick to it. Somebody say stick to it. Stick to it. Hallelujah, Jesus. 